Okay. Good morning. It is week five, day 29. We got a lot to do today. I gotta go get a mani petty because tomorrow's the first day of school for teachers. Uh, then I have Noelle's first birthday party and the theme is baseball. So it's all the food you would find at the baseball park. Uh, this is the outfit that I'm wearing in my before photos that my friend took of me and oh, are they bad. So I'm gonna try to make my niece take a couple pictures of me in this outfit and see if they look better side by side. Cause you know, I've been on this weight journey every day. So I'm down about 12 pounds and I feel much better, but I'd like to see some before and after pictures look pretty impressive. Maybe it's too early, maybe next month, but we'll see. So this is it. This was the outfit that all the pictures I was like, whoa, what is going on? Okay, I'll tell you the plan for today. I'm gonna make my new caramel mucchiato shake with my coffee in about three seconds. <sighs> my plan is to make this silky peanut butter and brownie waffle. It just makes me happy. And at the end of yesterday, I was not happy. Um, have some potato uh, grilled cheese before I leave for the party so I go kind of full and I don't feel bad about all the crap at the party. Uh, hopefully there's like a plain cheeseburger with some salad for my lean and green. And then this is my new frosted cookie dough bar, which I hope is delicious. All right, wish me luck on this first birthday party. I'll keep you posted. Every day, every time I have a day where I didn't enjoy my feelings or I was starving, I just remember my friend Christina telling me to make the peanut butter and brownie waffle because it made me happy. And so here I have added the full size waffle because it makes a full size waffle. And I don't want to make three little waffles if I can just make one in four minutes. So here it is. I get to eat half now, half when I come back from the birthday party outstanding okay that's it it's the end of day 29 my summer vacation is officially over i gotta go to work tomorrow it's gonna be a whole day of teacher meetings and expectations and safety procedures but it is the end so today went pretty well today was the day of waffles <laughs> so i got up and i tried my caramel mochiato shake and I didn't love it. It was okay. It might make a better muffin than an actual like coffee drink. Um, I went and I got my nails done. So that's very exciting. A little mani-pedi before school starts. Uh, came home and I made a chocolate brownie and peanut butter shake waffle. So that counts as two fuelings. You mix it together, it's about four tablespoons of egg beaters and four tablespoons of water. It waffles up to about a whole big waffle um, and you get to eat half in the morning and half at night, which is perfect. Um, and it's delicious, so you'll think it's a treat. Um, so I had that and then I headed over to, um, there was a family one-year-old birthday party um, and I had planned to have a cheeseburger and some salad. So, uh, there wasn't any salad, but there was a crudite plate. So I took a whole bunch of grilled mush, uh, peppers and I mixed them together with the peppers and the celery from the crudite plate and I called it a salad. So it hit the lean and green with a little extra cheese in my life. Um, came home um, ate the chocolate chip cookie dough bar. That was yummy. Um, it's like frosted, it's chewy. I feel like it's friends with the silky peanut butter chip bar. Um, so I enjoyed that one. Uh, then I had the last fueling was the other half of my waffle. So now I'm trying to figure out what to bring to school and it's hilarious because I think I've packed 30 fuelings um, 
I don't know what, like I think I get one shot. So I got two different crunchers. I got a whole box of every different bar that I've ever owned. That's good. I brought some penne and a measuring cup so that I can make that if we have time to make lunch. Um, stupid things are bothering me. Should I bring this in the car with me? Should I put it in a disposable cup? I don't know. What if I forget it at work and then I can't make my shake the next morning? I don't know. Why is that bothering me? I don't know. Um, yeah, uh, it's about 9.30. I'm not tired, but I feel like I should go to bed because, you know, I got to get up at like 5.30. Uh, although, Again, that none of the kids are gonna be there, so you have to dress professionally, but you don't have to be like super dressy, and, and I don't know what I wanna wear. I have a little outfit picked out, but like, do I need a shower? Can I just go? Because if I can just go, I can sleep till six, but I gotta move a bunch of stuff in, and parking is tricky on the first day of school. Ah, oh, it's just never easy. So, anywho, I'll probably get up around 5.30, get to school early. It's going to be a fun day. If nothing else, it'll be a nice practice day for eating the 5-in-1 Octavia plan. It'll be the last day of my first official month. And, uh, and then we'll do our second official month while we're at school. Uh, maybe I'll weigh in tomorrow to see how we're doing and see what a week of school does to us. Sometimes the first week of school, I'm so nervous, I don't really eat that much, so it's usually a pretty good week. The second week, I feel so bad that I've come back to work that I eat extra, so <laughs> that could be the week we have to be careful of. All right, um, I got my plan, which is basically my mocha shake and everything else is in the book bag. I'll keep you posted.